Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, everything that is good must come to an end. I've been fishing Connecticut for the past few days. I've been having a blast out here with our good Benoit, owner of the Euroteco company. But today, sadly, is my last day of fishing in this wonderful state. And I tell you all what, right? We really have to finish this wonderful series with with class. So for my last adventure over here, we decided to pick this particular lake called Bashan Lake. And I tell you all what, fun fact of the day, the water of this lake back in the days used to be potable, drinkable water. Check it out. It is a very, very clear type of environment that we're going to be fishing today. And according to Ben, this lake is filled, filled with largemouth bass. So we thought it would be a great idea to come out here and actually test the new Euroteco Finesse collection. We got three different baits over here. I don't know if you folks heard about this on the website, right? The 2.4 inches Metacore. We also got the three inches B-Vibe and the 3.5 inches Fat Assassin. And I actually have no idea why I'm talking like this. I must be picking up on Ben's accent or something like that. So anyway, <laughs> I got a little Ned rig tied up over here with a little Fat Assassin. We're going to be switching over to different lures, right, of this collection. And hopefully we're going to land some amazing, beautiful green fish that everyone in the beautiful country of the United States of America loves. All right, let's hop spots and, uh, and see what happens. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, see, see, it's coming. Oh, this one got it, this one got it. Yeah, boy. Ned rigging, Ned, Ned, Ned rigging. I wanted to turn to that side, but it came to this side, so. You decide. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, thank you so much, man. Good job. Thank you, appreciate it. Look at that, huh? Feto assassin, top of the mouth, Ned rigger. Yeah, look at that. Mm, I'm starting to like this finesse collection, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. Gonna take a photo of this one right over here. Nice. Okay, it is definitely a little bit complicated to film while you have a fish in the net. So I'm gonna leave you guys over here. You see the struggles of being a YouTuber? Some kids are usually, yeah, Leo, you get paid to fish. There's a lot of things that you need to worry about, okay? Angle, light, the safety of the fish, right? Keeping in the net, in the water. So now it is out. And this is usually when I cut everything before that and I get to show you folks, right? A view of our first of the day, fish of the day, right? Little two pounder right over here. Typical Ned rig bite. I just jig the thing all the way down there and the fish approached and it whacked it, right? I mean, you cannot make this up. The benefits of fishing a clear lake like this is that when I throw my bait out there, right? In particular, the fat assassin, look at the action on that thing. I can see the fish come and whack it. So it kind of adds to the pleasure. All right, that was a real nice first fish of the day before I actually switch lures to the metacrow and the b-vibe i do want to catch a few more right on this one just to make sure even though i'm 90 percent certain that it wasn't that this was a lucky bite you see what i'm saying oh that can be a lucky bite ben just got one on the same jig that i'm using too do you need a net for this one mm, no Thank you. okay no problem it's all about teamwork here on the boat. Very nice, very nice. He's testing the same stuff that I am testing too. So he also got a fat assassin right over here. Double up pretty much, not bad. I feel it is going to be a good day here at the Bastion Lake.
Oh, a piccolo is all my stuff, I think. Yeah, a piccolo was all my, all my jig. Little big bass in their mind over there. Not bad, Benoit, not bad. What's good is that they're not on bench, they're just cruising on the shallow. Those yeah, are which is great. Full spawn. Yep. I had a I had a piccolo on mine. Tried to hit it two times and I missed it. I did want to catch it just to say that I caught one from this lake, you know? Oh, uh, you will. Damn, it was so cool too because you can see the piccolo doing the what they do, you know? Yep. Chasing the bait and things like that. Bro, there is a massive bass in this area. Maybe it's not fine. Smallmouth. Smallmouth? Is yeah. it rare over here? Uh, that size, no. Big ones are rare, but they're here. Oh, I see. Ah, it's Molly on the net. Oh, no! This one took, uh, took a little accident here. We're not going to take photos. Just a stay straight release. But not bad, huh? Hey. It's all about here. You see that, folks? It's all about here. That will give you that. Yeah, that's what it is. Sadly, no. But he was, he came over though, he came over. Let's keep count of the bass we got. Okay, so I got two, a uh, three so far. I got two. You got two, okay, let's keep count. That one is catchable, I think. So today, right now, we're at a count of five uh, so far, okay. The good thing about it is that I'm getting a lot of, uh, Tiny hits. I got one. Wow. Yeah, I got one. I think it's a. I don't know what it is actually. Oh, okay. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Take my time over here. Take my time. Beautiful. Thank Ooh. you so much. Oh, that's a nice one. Thank you, bro. We came from along the along the rocks. Nice. Yeah, that is what's up. I'm loving this. That's oh, found it, bro. oh, oh! Barely hooked on the side of the mouth. Yeah, look at that. Mm, getting a tad bigger here, huh? All right. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> I'm not a bass fisherman, you know, but. I gotta tell you, <laughs> you gotta love this kind of stuff though. Oh man, you're fishing Philly and around Philly, and I mean, okay, yeah, you will catch a few once in a while, you know. But there are so many fish in this lake. Oh man, I'm having a blast. Very nice, very nice. We're having a wonderful day here at the lake so far. I was using 10 pounds braided line with seven pounds a liter, right? And as I told you folks, ladies and gentlemen, just a Ned rig style with a fat assassin, which, you know, we are testing it out here, right? It's my first time using it. I gotta tell you all, it, wor it works really good. That being said, we still got two other finesse lures to test. So I'm going to switch now. I got another rod ready over here on the side. This one is going to be a tad heavier so we're going 15 pounds braided line and this time we have a jig on here with the meta crawl right and that is a 10 pounds liter right so for now we're going to do some jigging we got some rocky structure in front of us right so flip these things along the rocks and there are crawfish in the lake Hopefully we're going to fool some nicer ones into believing this is a juicy, juicy one, huh? Have to make sure the drag is, uh, it's pretty. You gotta be close a bit. Do you think this is good? Look. Oh, close it a bit more. A bit more. What, what do you think now? Close it a bit more. Close it a little bit more? You need a good hook set, yeah. Oh, I know, man. Hook set with weedless jig, you got to send it to heaven. I'm gonna close it a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. Oh no, there's a rope there too. Oh. Sorry, I had to skip it. I had to skip it. It's Molly. 
I had to, you, I mean, come on, I had to skip it. That was best match yeah, yeah, dude, I mean, I didn't want to bang the dog or anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, all right, I didn't take a photo of a Smalley today yet. Yeah, There's not a trophy, but Metacrawl, and it does count for our best count today, so that's what's up. Beautiful. All right, time to release this fella here. Right. You never fish here? No. Wow, all right, man. Maybe this is where that juicy six pounder is at. Well, the drag was set very good. Hook set was very good, too. Your action was very good. We're ready for that big one. Go for it. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Did the that for this one? Yeah. I can't see how big this fish are. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not bad, Ben. Not bad. This is a nice uh, three and a half. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, no, that's real nice, yeah. If you were to give it a weight guess, how big would you say it is? It's a three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. I'm gonna go with three and a half. Yeah, let's check it up. Yeah, don't don't do that on your boat, okay folks? You what? The line. <laughs> Just hanging there, you know, like what is that? And 3.2. Oh. Dude, on the dot, what? How do you even do that? I was off by like 0.25. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. No, that is a nice fish. I agree. Beautiful, beautiful. Precision cast, side fishing, meta crawl. That's what I like to see. Good. Oh, be careful not to bump the rock back there, bro. Over there on the point, bro. Oh yeah? You 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 see on the live scope? <laughs> you know it's good. Points are always good now that I fish with you. I'm gonna pay more attention to my local spots now for points. Oh. Oh, got a bite. Why, why does it feel so small though? Oh wow, bro. Oh wow, that's why it felt so small, bro. Wow, this is my first time ever. A copy on the Metacraw jig. This is, <laughs> okay. Hey, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? This is a multi-species. Leo Shang always follows me all around. Hey, what can I say? Metacraw catches it all. Apparently there's a population of crappie here, huh, at the lake. Check out the black on this crappie. This is actually a male. I learned this from Jeff Rose, you know what I'm saying? Tuxedo on. I'm going to release it now. This ain't no can of wood crappie, but hey, you know what? Not bad, not bad. Ah. I think Jeff would be proud of me right now, you know? <laughs> if you're watching this right now, Jeff, that's for you, man. All right, we've been having some fun on the Meta Crawl. I think I'm going to fish with it a little bit more before switching it to the B Vibe because we are in a very juicy area, like deeper water, boulders, perfect for that, you know, crawl imitation. So let me go back to casting and see if a monster is actually going to show up. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Don't worry, it's not it's not that bad. I mean it's not that good. Yeah, I'm best angler now, boy. Skip, 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 go um, yeah. Yes, beautiful. Metacraw, right at the point too. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. There we go, huh? Beauty. All right. Thank 
the goal. Awesome. Oh, nice. Need the net? Do you think the net's necessary? Metacro, such a beauty. Hmm. Yeah. Bullspawn. Yeah. Oh, you're using a different color too. Beautiful. Adds variety to it. I think it's time to change to the B vibe, man. Change to the B vibe and do some more damage. Do we have a B vibe tied on already? Can I just change the fat assassin on the net rig to the yeah. B vibe? Yeah. Awesome, beautiful. I think that is what I am going to do. Yeah, that is true. No small ones today, other than that smally that I caught at all. I guess for smallies over here, the sizes are like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. We've been having a lot of fun out here with the Meta Call. So we started this video with the fat assassin. Kind of net rigging down there. Not sure how the fish perceive a Ned rig with a fat assassin, maybe some type of worm or aquatic organism. Then we started to fish these areas with a lot of boulders and rocks and deeper water, right? Which is perfect for the meta crawl, right? Cast down there with a the jig, and the fish really think, you know, that a juicy crawfish is swimming right there. Now I'm going to switch rods to the 10 pound to seven pound liter again. And instead we're going to go for the third and final bait of the Michael Finney's collection, which obviously is our trusted B-Vibe. I mean, I've already used the two inches B-Vibe on this YouTube channel, the 1.5 inches B-Vibe. Now that it's time to put this right here on the jig, and throw around to see what we can catch. Being a multi-species angler, I can tell you all, this is going to be real good. Yep. I waited until, you know, I got it. Hey, hey, son. It's a snook. <laughs> no, it was mess. Be vibe. Oh, easy. Where are you? Where were you going, bro? Where are you going, huh? Don't, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Yeah. Be vibe. That's number twelve. So that makes it one dozen. We've caught one dozen bass today so far, bro. Yeah, that's real nice. Okay, yeah, be vibing action. Good, I like it. I mean, not that I didn't know that the B vibe was going to work. My confidence on this viewer is that high, you know? <laughs> but good. Right next to the dock, too. Textbook. Oh my lord. Oh. 50 feet of water, bro. Yeah, not only that, but when you do that hook set that, you know, your your feet go up a little bit, I keep thinking it's going to be like a real big one, you know, like, you know, that hook set for more leverage. You're still using the meta crawl, right? Yeah. Yeah, meta crawl. That's nice, dude. Voila. Meta crawl, fat assassin, B vibe. Today's collection putting in work. That was number 13. Big Master is not anymore. <laughs> Since I came to Connecticut, as a matter of fact, yeah, that is true. Both in Nora Pike, different types of, uh, you know, environments for bass. Even on the Pikachu lure. So I guess, yeah, the last few days have definitely not been too much, too much dink days, you know? Which is good, it's going to make the subscribers happy for a little while, you know? Even the bluegill were not dinks. That is true, even the bluegill were not dinks. Oh my lord. Wow, crappy. Crappy, 
on the three inch B vibe. Not too surprisingly. Crappy got big mouths. There we go. I'm still hoping. Did I get your line? No. Oh, so that was a mm, that was a bluegill tap. Dude, this crappie are very aggressive, bro. <laughs> they they come. Wow. Yeah, that I can see. Yeah, and the whole thing, it's choking on it too. I can see. I can see them come from like all the way from the bottom of the rocks, from like ten feet of water plus. Wow. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Bass copy fishing. And tiny little jig. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a fish. Oh. That feels decent. <laughs> it feels good. What is it? <laughs> oh, that's decent. Uh, that's decent. <laughs> oh my lord, bro. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice net job, bro. Dude, what tiny B vibe. I can't believe it, bro. That's that's a nice fish. Oh my lord. Yeah, I felt the weight of it. I was like, that's that's decent. I think I'm gonna weight this one. Three, three and a half, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, three to three and a half, I would say, but we'll see. All right, what we got there? Oh no, almost, almost three. Good, my biggest one of the day so far, 2.91. Yeah, all right. All right, back you go. We're not gonna take photos for this one. Little B vibe, unbelievable. Unbelievable, bro. Wow, Sick, isn't it? yeah, it is. What a day, what a day bro. Cuckoo in that clear water, like it can't be better than this. That is true, cannot be better than that. And there is no like 12 inch fish, I mean, most of the time it's always good. And when it's like that, the three pounder, what can you ask? You know? Oh, you know what? You're right about that. We have not caught a single fish below 18 inches, right? Uh, not 18 inches. Wow, yeah, that is intense. Now you all know the secret, huh? <laughs> now you all know the secret. Don't tell me that I didn't tell you all. I'll put the number, I'll put the number of bears that we actually caught today here on the lake. I think that the results really speak for themselves. I mean, surely we are on a boat, on a lake that has a bunch of fish but I was talking to Ben earlier today and he let me know, you know, that even here the fishing is not usually like this. And I mean, if you are watching this right now and you are a bass angler, you know that you can be in the best lake around the country. And even though, you know, with the conditions, you just never know how it is going to be, right? We were extremely lucky that the fish were actually willing to bite today. I'm going to leave the numbers over here on the screen as well. So that we have all the species besides the bass that we're willing to buy it over here. And you know what? Look, if you have never used it before, okay? B vibe, Metacrawl, Fat Assassin, right? The Finesse collection is really just a bigger version of the smaller ones from the Micro Finesse. So obviously, if you have used the Micro Finesse before, and caught fish on them. Well, no kidding, right? You just use the bigger versions. Yeah, you may catch some bigger fish out there around your area, right? It is really that simple. So I'm going to leave the website over here, right? I find it hard to believe that folks on this channel have not heard about Euroteco yet, right? They're really my only sponsor over here but I am going to leave the website here regardless. And if you do want to go to the website to get yourself a few packs, I am going to leave the promo code over here in the video too, okay? Get 10% off your entire order. Cause I mean, let me tell you all something, inflation's kind of out of control nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Better save some money to add another pack to them. <laughs> no, I'm just mad. Save some money for that gas, folks. All right, I'm calling it a day here with Ben. Ben, do you have any last words for the video? 
No, just keep fishing. Yeah, keep fishing, right? We're gonna keep fishing for fun a little bit, you know? I mean, come on. It can't be all about the work. You know what I'm saying? I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching this entire Connecticut series, okay? Tight lines. Yo, did those dudes just steal our fishing spot, bro?